You see how empty it is? No one, uh, no one comes down this way. Yeah, anytime I park in the neighborhood, I'd wake up and go over here and kind of hike down and jump in the water, cool off. Actually today I went in and I'm pretty sure a stingray brushed against me. So I got out, wasn't trying to get hurt before we did this. <laughs> the thing about living in the van is it's really hard to have a routine. Like it's very inconsistent and it really depends where I wake up. So if I'm here, I wake up and I do all this. I park in Oceanside a lot. Same thing, wake up, jump in the water. When I'm working, like a farmer's market, they're early so I usually park at work. It's actually a soup company I work for on the side, Rodino. My boss is cool, they just let me sleep there. And then it really just depends. I don't have any sort of routine. October I should have a madness part dropping and then there's some other smaller projects in between coming out Yeah, I'm excited to just keep traveling with the homies and doing videos and it's cool to see that Contests are back because I'm not a contest skater, but it'd be cool to try to get in the mix a little more Actually, there's that big one in France that Wall Street skate shop does It's a huge hundred foot downhill curb double sider and that's in September So we'll see if I make out to that. I, I went to the one in 2019, but that's a fun one In skateboarding, I'd say my goal is to just, of course, keep having fun and just pushing as hard as I can and filming as much as I can, progressing, learning tricks, hopefully getting people stoked and uh, just really seeing where it takes me because skateboarding's in a place where you can do so much with it. You can do the pro skater thing or there's people who do their own YouTube or podcasts or their own brands. So I don't know. I feel like there's something for me in the future. We'll see.